Welcome back to the final video in the segment of the JVZoo tutorial videos for editing your product. In this, we're going to cover everything in the right column of the Edit Product screen. The first thing is the checkout options. You have to have at least one payment option set up, and this will be determined by what you've set up in My Account, in your payment profiles. If you accept Stripe only and not PayPal, then it would say Stripe here. If you accept PayPal and Stripe, then they'd both be there. Check, check the box next to whichever checkout option or options you'd like to allow people to use. Next here we have the JVZoo Marketplace information. This is where you put a description, categories for it to appear in, keywords, and the Facebook social discount. I'll tell you about that in a second. If you're not concerned about the Marketplace, if you have clicked No here for Show in Marketplace, I still advise you to put a description here. The reason is when someone buys your product and they go to the JVZ, JVZoo order page, this description right here will appear on the receipt. So it acts as an additional reminder of what they're buying. You should have that there, especially if you have a product that has different license tiers, like a personal use license or versus a developer use license. That reinforces what they're buying and make sure that they're fully informed. For example, this is personal usage rights only on the Graphics Booster product. There's a separate product where they can buy developer usage rights for a higher price. State that in the description. The Facebook social discount. This is where you can give people a discount on their order form if they share the product on their Facebook feed. So you can offer them a $2 discount, for example, if they share the product on their Facebook feed. It will generate a special link that will be posted on their feed that their Facebook friends can see and can order through in order to get the social discount. Here's where we set up a dime sale. I talked about this earlier when setting the product price. If you want to use a dime sale, open up this box here, and you have three settings. What you want it to start at, how much you want it to increase, and at what increment. So, for example, if I were going to run a special deal on this right now and start it at $5, I'd put that there. The maximum price is still $9.77 as I have set up here. I can set this to increase two cents every three sales. So the first time that someone buys this, they'll get it for $5. The next person who comes to the sales page will see the buy button saying, only two left at this price. When two more people buy it, the price will go to $5.02. That sets scarcity, and that can spur people to get off the fence and buy it now rather than waiting later. I don't want to have a dime sale set up, so I'm going to delete these and close that back up. Autoresponder integration, this is where you can uh, set up your get response list. Um, I do have GetResponse hooked up to this account, and it is a GetResponse account that was purchased via JVZoo's link. That, um, the importance of that is that you get single opt-in for your buyers. They're automatically added to your list. They don't have to confirm that they want to be on the list. So this automatically has my account information loaded in with all of the lists that I have. I have a list called Graphics Booster Personal and that is where the buyers are added to. GetResponse has an API key that they give you from your account. That's what allows JVZoo to communicate with your GetResponse account. That's what goes here. You uh, may or may not be seeing that blurred out at this point. Let's scroll down. We have webinar integration. This allows you to take all of your buyers and automatically put them onto a GoToWebinar webinar it automatically registers them. And you do have to set up your webinar to require first, last name, and email, and that will automatically register these buyers into there. If you're not using GoToWebinar, ignore that box. Retargeting is where you can set up Facebook retargeting for your buyers using Perfect Audience. This is, you really need to know what you're doing for any of these, but if you do retargeting, you know what I'm talking about, this is where you would add your Facebook retargeting script, and this is where you would add your conversion info. So that way, people who have come to the sales page but haven't bought, 
can get retargeted. They see your ad on Facebook. If they click the ad and they buy, then they get counted as a conversion. Or if they buy anyway, they get counted as a conversion so they don't see your retargeting ad. External program integration. This is where you put your members area site. Um, as I said earlier, I use DL Guard, and DL Guard uses the JVZoo IPN URL. DL Guard generated this link specifically to use and told me put it here, have key generation turned off, and use the general integration. You will need to check with your own membership script to see how it integrates with JVZoo. I can't go into all the different possibilities, but it will use one of these four methods. For example, the last one is if you're using S2 member. This is the information that it needs. Once you have this information all set up, click Save Product and you're done setting up your product.